know, before I got here at BCM and learned about a precision rifle like the McWhorter, I kind of took rifles for granted. They were just parts and pieces that made it shoot and I got to go hunting with them. But since then, I've learned that there's a lot that goes into a real custom precision rifle that makes a lot of sense. This week, we're going up to upstate New York and we're gonna get a behind the scene look at Hart Rifle Barrel. They make one of the best precision rifle barrels on the market today. And after that, we're gonna to get to watch Alan hunt a big white tail in Illinois. You're gonna enjoy both parts of this show. Really excited to show you all this. We are outside of Syracuse, New York at the Hart Barrel Factory. They've been with us for years and there's a reason we use their barrels. Now we're going to get to find out why they make such an awesome, accurate barrel. This is Small Time America, a small company that builds quality product and that's one of the reasons they do it. So let's go meet them. My name is P.J. Hart. I am the third generation of Hearts, and I have been in the business almost from the beginning. The start of the business was basically because of competition. We were competition shooters, myself, my brother, my grandfather, and my father. The, bell, the person that made the barrels for us decided to quit making barrels and go back to Scotland, and it was just uh, started out as an absolute hobby. Uh, Mr. Walker and my grandfather and my dad uh, just got together and they made one or two rifle barrels and did very well in the matches and that's how the business progressed from there. Hello, Jack. Hello, Mark. We've talked along for about a few years now about your barrels and I've really been looking forward to this trip. I mean, we really want to find out what it takes to make a barrel. All right, step one, we're going to cut some barrels. Step one, yes, Lamar, we're going to cut three different lengths, 31, 28 and 26. Right now we're set up for 28. Okay, Jack, obviously we've cut the barrels. These are 26 inch barrels laying here. What's the next step? Next step is deep hole drill or gun drill. And we take, face them off, and then we put them in the gun drill. Now the drill will feed through, and you can see the chips coming out down in the tray down there, along with the oil. The gun drill is actually putting the first hole through the barrel. You can All see right. the, this is the drill. Right. And, and the barrel's the one that's spinning, you said. The barrel's spinning and the drill is feeding through. It takes about 20 minutes to get that done and it's the first hole. On this caliber, it'll take about 20 minutes. Okay, now we've, we've drilled it and now you're gonna ream it. Explain to me what reaming is. Reaming takes out just a little bit and it brings it up to the correct size that we want to start with before we rifle it. Okay. And it gives it a really, really super finish. Okay. So show me how we do that. All right. Now it, it'll turn it on and the reamer will spin. You can see it's spinning now. Right. Just pumping oil through the tube and out to the cutting edges on the reamer. Next step is rifling. Well, then that's where we're going. Let's go see. Okay. Well, this is our rifle machine. This has rifled every barrel that we've ever made. And all we do is we push the button down through the barrel, and there's a button. 
And the metal flows down into each one of these grooves. And as it does, that grips it. And as you push it forward, it turns the button. Right. Creates each one of these grooves will be one of the lands right. on the okay. inside of the barrel. So. <laughs> the different twists. Explain why you have to have different twists. Well, the heavier the bullet, the faster you have to twist it to stabilize it. Okay. All right. If you don't twist it fast enough, it's going to wobble. It'll wobble. There you go. Same with your bullet. Obviously, this is a very important part of accuracy in hard barrels is a twist, knowing the yep. twist rate you need for each bullet. For each bullet. So, yep. Brush Country Monsters is brought to you by McWhorter Custom Rifles, the most accurate hunting rifles in the world. Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, real Texas barbecue. Safari Club International Foundation, first for wildlife. And Hoff Power Auto and Outdoor Stores, over 50 years in Central Texas, and we couldn't have stuck around this long if we were steering you wrong. Brush Country Monsters is brought to you by Chupacabra Rub. Put it on meat, put it on veggies, put it on Texas. Swarovski Optique, see the unseen. Heart Rifle Barrels, unparalleled performance handcrafted one at a time. Burger Bullets, shoot better, shoot burger. And John Burrell's High Adventure Company, the finest collection of big game hunting, wing shooting, and sport fishing destinations in the world. Hi, Jack. The rifling's done. We're well into the production of a barrel. This is the contouring. Explain that to us. Well, this is a CNC machine. And over here, we just changed, we put in whatever program that we want to contour. And these are your programs? Those are programs. And we can turn just about anything anybody wants. Okay. All right. It doesn't have to be on that list. Well, push a button and let's get it started. Sounds good. It's going in for its first cut. The steady rest just went in again. And again, it's doing the same basic taper. It'll just do it further down the line a little bit deeper. It'll come back, come back to zero and shut off, turn off the fluid, and it's all done. All right, Jack, you're starting to get a barrel as I recognize a barrel. We're gonna do the pretty stuff now for layman's terms. This is a mill, all right. and we're gonna put fluting on it. Huh. We're gonna do a special McWhorter. A McWhorter barrel, all right. McWhorter well, let's watch out. this thing work. Now, fluting, benefits, or is it just aesthetics? It's mostly aesthetics. It's, it's a little bit of benefit. You can take a bigger barrel and make it lighter. So it's the same weight as a smaller barrel, but you get a little more stiffness that All right. way. All right, we've got the fluting installed and they're making it pretty. So the last step is lapping, correct? Yep. Well, show us where the lapping is. All right, it's right over here. All right, All right the final process has two actually it's called lapping explain that to us well it's roughing and finishing indexing the lap right he's actually turning it and it makes it nice and round the barrel okay we guarantee the barrel to be within one ten thousandths of an inch from end to end it smooths it out so you're gonna be um you, you won't have falling and stuff in your right. barrel okay. like you do on right. some factory gun and this is key to accuracy with your barrel yeah that's this is everything on a rifle barrel. Okay, now it's the final step of the final step. This is the inspection and the final polishing of the barrel, correct? Yes, Bill does the final lapping. He puts just a little bit finer finish on it and checks it, makes sure it's nice and round and even. Okay, and, and then, this then is, he'll inspect it. Right, and this is the pressure gauge he's using to do that with? Yep, this and the air gauge, and what Bill has in his hand, he has an, um, a ring gauge that we know the size of, and that's around the air gauge head that it'll slip into the barrel now, that compares the barrel size to the ring gauge that we know right. what size it is. And it's, it's a little over two tenths under, two ten thousandths underneath the two, four, three, so, zero. So that means it needs a little more polish. Needs just a little bit more. And now he can inspect it with the scope. And he can look down and down and back in the barrel and he'll check each land all the way down, all the way back. 
And he's looking for reamer marks or drill digs or anything that would scrap anything, the barrel. Uh, right, anything that needs to be polished out, correct? Yep. Yeah. I appreciate the opportunity to see this firsthand. Now, barrel 101, I need 102 sometime. That's right. <laughs> we'll let you push some more buttons. There you go. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this because I thoroughly enjoyed it. I wish you could have been here. You could have seen the level of precision that these guys make these barrels with, and that's why they're so accurate. Uh, another reason why we're so happy to have them as sponsors and being a partner with us. Uh, what you need to do now is after seeing this, if you want to shoot like that, call them up. Get you a heart barrel. You won't regret it. Brush Country Monsters is brought to you by Big and J Long Range Attractants. The aroma is super strong. The range is super long. Borden Accuracy, makers of the Rimrock, Alpine, and Timberline custom actions. The G7 BR2 Ballistic Range Finder, built for the first shot. Swagger, the bipod with moves. Revolution Safe Company, inspired by Pendleton. Rotating gun management made simple. And New Breed Archery. No hype, just hunt. Our host, Lamar Smith, he's fresh back from his tour of the facility at Hart Rifle Barrels in upstate New York. Our friends up there, Karen, Jack, and the whole rest of the crew, they're great people, great friends. They make the best rifle barrels in the country, in our opinion. We use them on all our centerfire rifles and on our 45 XML muzzle loaders. And speaking of that, we're on our way to Illinois right now to put one of those barrels to the test on a giant Illinois whitetail. We've got some pictures of some good bucks uh, that are still hitting these food sources that we're gonna hunt and uh, we're just chomping at the bit to get in the blind tomorrow. We've hunted Illinois for years. We've killed some giant bucks. We've always had some real good leases up there. A good friend and rifle customer up there invited us to hunt his farm this year. Man, if he's about only about 70 inches bigger, we kill him. It's November the 18th and we're up here in Fulton County, Illinois for opening day of uh, firearm season. You can use a um, shotgun or a muzzleloader. So we've got our 45 XML up here that's just itching to find a big giant buck to shoot. The weather's terrible. I think it almost set a record yesterday. It got up to 73 degrees. And uh, today it's gonna rain and then it's gonna get real windy, 30 to 40 mile an hour winds, and it's gonna get colder, but it's also gonna be windy tomorrow, so uh, three day season, Sunday's gonna look great, but we don't, we hope we don't have to wait till Sunday, so uh, a lot of real big bucks on this property. We got a lot of good cam tracker pictures, and while we were scouting yesterday, we just saw bucks just chasing does all over the place, so uh, we're ready. I just finished loosening up my shooting finger here, so, uh, We've been chasing these whitetails all year. We hadn't killed a toad yet, so we're we're hoping a toad, one of these midday cruisers, comes through this clover patch here, and uh, we'll see what the 45 XML can do. It's about two o'clock, first morning of uh, Illinois firearm season. Big change in the in the temperature. It's colder now than it was when we got out here this morning. Uh, the winds picked up and changed directions. We're still good here. We got the ozonic running wide open, but uh, it's supposed to be around 40 degrees by dark today, and it was 56 when we got up this morning, so um, there's a the deer right there. Spike. So we, we think that's gonna get the deer up on their feet, and uh, Maybe one of these big shooters that we got on camera will show up this afternoon. Sure would be nice to kill on the first day for a change. Yeah, we need his great granddaddy to come on out. and it's our second day in Illinois. And we're, uh, we're hunting on a cornfield set, a bunch of hardwoods all the way around. This is way back in the, in the back, about an acre and a half of standing corn left. And uh, got some good pictures of some bucks back in here. 
the weather's been horrible all the day. We had 35 mile an hour winds, 40 mile an hour winds, and still pretty breezy, but they're calling for them to settle down here a little bit right before, before dark. And uh, we're hoping, the rut's wide open, so we're hoping one of these does that's feeding on this corner bring one of these shooters out. So uh, one more day, three day Illinois season and uh, first firearm season. Uh, we're using our 45 XML with a board and action and a heart barrel as a bullet to bore gun. And uh, if one comes out, it'll be ready. said all day it's the rut so anything can happen we try to hunt uh, clover fields we hunt some cut corn fields all the stuff we set up back during the summer that's been sitting there all year for the deer to get used to just no luck uh, we're looking forward to the last day of the season the whole time we're up there because the weather's supposed to break and that that night a cold front moves in This is our third and final afternoon in Illinois. We're up here for the first firearm season. We've got our 45 XML that's been itching the whole time we've been up here. But we've had some real bad weather. It started out real warm, and then it got windy, real windy, like 35, 40 mile an hour. Today's been the only good day, and uh, we're on a new set that we've been saving for this last day. It's a, a big cornfield that's been turned under except for two acres on the corner. So a lot of food here, a lot of thick bedding area. It's a real good pinch point. There's a, a big lake on the north side and a big lake on the uh, east side. There's about 100 yards right there. For them to get to this cornfield, they got to come right through there. So we're set back about 250, 300 yards from the corner. And uh, just going to wait till dark. we got about three hours left, and we're hoping one of these big shooter shows up. I watched this Thursday night before the uh, the bad weather started and before the season started, so a good frame deer. One of the target bucks was a buck we call Lucifer. He was a big 10-pointer, long beams, not particularly long tines, good mass, 300-pound buck, six and a half years old. Hopefully he'll show up tonight and we'll put them a quarter to, to the test. Early in the afternoon, does start flooding into the field. We see a couple of young bucks. We're really starting to feel the pressure. We only got an hour left in the season. I'm looking at the cameraman. He's looking at me. It, it looks pretty dismal. Uh, we see a doe run out. She stops and she looks behind her. And it just caught my attention and here comes Lucifer. We've been watching this one doe all day. When I got my muzzleloader stuck out of the ground blind we were sitting in, she caught the movement and she jerked her head up and she started getting nervous and I told Kenny the cameraman, I said, Kenny, be on him. I said, because this deer, as soon as he sees her getting nervous, he might move. That is a buck we call Lucifer. And Lucifer just met his match in the 45 XML order. <laughs> we have got about 11 minutes of shooting light left on the last day. Wow. Oh, Lucifer. They call him Lucifer because he's got these devil points here, two or three inches long. Just a lot of character. I mean, not the, the biggest buck in Illinois, but long beams, good mass. Just a, a 
great, great deer. We shot him with our 45 XML. We built this one on a board in action with a heart barrel and put it in a McMillan stock and put that Swarovski on it with a custom turret out to about 600 yards because this new bullet, the bore 45 XML is good for a lot further than we had to shoot today, but you always want them close if you can get them close. You just want the ability to shoot them further if you have to. But just a great, look at the beams on that deer. Boy, they're, he's a great deer. Look at the nose on him. He's an old deer, just an old deer, just a great old deer with a lot of character. Nice job, Alan. That McWhorter muzzleloader always performs, doesn't it? And a big thank you to Jack Sutton and family for giving us the behind the scene tour of the Heart Barrel Factory. Until next week, always remember, keep God and family first. Thank <laughs> you.